from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of Actifio Data Driven 2020, brought to you by Actifio. Welcome back. I'm Stu Miniman, and this is the Cube's coverage of Actifio Data Driven 2020. We wish everybody could join us in Boston, but instead we're doing it online this year, uh, of course, and really excited. Uh, we're going to be digging into the value of data, how data ops, data scientists are leveraging data. And joining me on the program, Scott Buckles, he's the North American Business Unit Executive for Database Data Science and Data Ops with IBM. Scott, welcome to the Cube. Thanks, Stu. Thanks for having me. Great to see you. Start with the, the Actifio IBM partnership. Anyone that knows Actifio knows that the, the IBM partnership is, is, is really the oldest one that they've had. Uh, there's hardware, there's software, there, there's uh, the joint solutions go together. So uh, tell us uh, about, about the partnership here in 2020. Sure. So uh, it's a, it's been a fabulous partnership when we, in the data ops world where we are looking to help you know all of our customers gain efficiency and effectiveness in their data pipeline and, and getting value out of their data. Uh, Actifio really complements a lot of uh, a lot of the solutions that we have very well. Um, so the the folks from uh, from everybody from the up top all the way through the engineering team is uh is a great team to work with we're very very fortunate to have them how many or any specific examples or anonymized uh, examples that, that you can share about uh joint links yeah I, I, i'm i'm gonna stay safe and go on the anonymized side um so but we've had a lot of great wins uh several uh significantly large wins where we've had clients that have been struggling with um with their different data pipelines. And uh, and I say data pipeline, I mean, getting value from understanding their data to um, developing models and, and doing the testing on that. And, and we can get into this in a minute, but those folks have really needed a solution where Actifio um, has stepped in and, and provided that solution to do that at several of the, the, the largest banks in the world, um, including one that was a recent, very recent merger down in the Southeast where we were able to um, to bring in uh, the Actifio solution and uh, address our uh, the customers' needs around how they uh, were testing and how they were trying to um, uh, really move through that that testing cycle because it was a very uh, uh, iterative process, a very sequential process, and they just weren't doing it fast enough. And Actifio stepped in and helped us. Um, deliver that in a much uh, in a much more effective way, in a much more efficient way, especially when you get into uh, a bank or two banks rather that are merging and have a lot of work to converge systems to into one another and converge data. Um, not an easy task, and and that was one of the best wins that we've had in in the recent months. And and the, again, going back to the partnership, it was an awesome, awesome opportunity to work with them. Well, well, Scott, as I teed up at the beginning of the conversation, you, you know, you've got data science and data ops. Uh, you know, help us understand how you know this isn't just you know a storage solution when you're talking about BDP. You know, how does DevOps fit into this? You know, talk a little bit about some of the constituents uh, inside your customers uh, that are engaging with the solution. Yeah, so uh, we, we were call uh, we call it data ops, and um, data ops is uh, is both a methodology. Um, which is really trying to combine the best of the uh, the way that we've transformed how we develop applications with DevOps um, and agile development. So going back 20 years ago, everything was a waterfall approach. Um, everything was very slow, and uh, and and then you had to wait a long time to figure out whether you had success or failure in the application that you had developed and whether it was the right application. Um, and with the advent of DevOps and continuous delivery, the advent of, um, of things like agile development methodologies, data ops is really converging that and applying that to our data pipelines. Um, and so when we look at the opportunity ahead of us with the world exploding with data, we see it all the time. And, and it's not just structured data anymore, it's unstructured data. It's how do we take advantage of of the, all the data that we have so that we can make that impact to our business. But oftentimes we are seeing where um, it's still a very slow process. Data scientists are struggling or, or a business analyst is struggling to get the data in, in the right form so that they can create a model. 
And then they're having to go through a long process of trying to figure out whether that model that they've created in Python or R is, is an effective model. Um, so data ops is all about driving more efficiency, more speed to that process and, um, and doing it in a much more effective manner. And we're, we've had a lot of good success. And so it's, it's part methodology, um, which is really cool and applying that to certain use cases within the, in the data science world. And then it's also part of how do we build our solutions within IBM so that we are uh, aligning with that methodology and taking advantage of it so that we have the AI machine learning capabilities built in um, to increase that speed, that, which is required by our customers because data science is great, AI is great, but you, you still have to have good data underneath and you have to do it at speed. Well, yeah, Scott, it's definitely, definitely a theme that I heard loud and clear at IBM Think this year. We did a lot of interviews for the Cube there. Uh, it was helping with the tools, helping with the processes, and, and as you said, helping customers move fast. Uh, a big piece of IBM strategy there are, are, are the cloud packs. Um, my understanding, you've got a got an update uh, with, with regards to BDP uh, and cloud packs. So, uh, to tell us what the, the, the new release is here for the show. Yeah, so in our 3.0 release that's coming up, we will be able to, to launch BDP directly from Cloud Pack um, so that you can take advantage of, um, of the Actifio capabilities, uh, which we call virtual data pipeline, um, straight from within Cloud Pack. So it's a native integration, um, and that's the first of many things uh, to come with how we are tying those two capabilities and those two solutions more closely together. So we're, we're excited about it and we're looking forward to getting it uh, in our customers' hands. All right, and that, that's the cloud pack for data, if I have that correct, right? That's cloud pack for data, correct, sorry. Yes, absolutely, I should have been more clear. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's all right. It's uh, it, it's definitely, you know, we, we've been watching that. It, it, there's the, the, those different uh, solutions that IBM's building out with the, the cloud packs. And of course, data, uh, as we said, is so important. Can bring us inside a little bit, if you could. You know, the customers. What are, what are the use cases, uh, the, those problems that, that that you're helping your customers solve uh, with, with these solutions? Sure. So there's three primary use cases. One is about accelerating the the development process, um, getting into how do you take data from its raw form, which uh, may or may not be usable. In a lot of cases, it's not. Um, and, and in getting it to a business ready state so that your data scientists, your business, your, your data models can take advantage of it about speed. The second is about reducing storage costs. Um, as data has exponentially grown, so has storage costs. We've been in the test data management world for a number of years now, and uh, our ability to uh, help customers reduce that storage print footprint is also tied to actually the acceleration piece, but helping them reduce that cost is a big part of it. And then the third part is about mitigating risk. Um, with uh, the, the amount of, of data security uh, challenges that we've seen, customers are continuously looking for ways to mitigate their, their exposure to somebody manipulating data, uh, accessing um, uh, accessing production data and manipulating production data, uh, especially sensitive data. And by uh, virtualizing that data, we really almost fully mitigate that risk of them being able to do that. Um, uh, somebody either unintentionally or intentionally uh, altering that data and exposing a client. Yeah, Scott, I, I know IBM is speaking at the data-driven event. Uh, if I, I read through some of the pieces uh, that, that they're talking about, it looks like really what you talk about, accelerating, uh, you know, customer outcomes, you know, helping them be more productive. If you could, you know, what, what are some of those those kind of key measurements, uh, you know, KPIs that your customers have uh, when they successfully uh, de deploy the solution? So uh, when it comes to speed, it's really about, you know, we're looking at about how are we reducing the time of that project, right? Are we able to have a material impact on, uh, on the amount of time that we see uh, clients uh, get through a testing cycle, right? Are we taking them from months to days? Are we taking them from, from weeks to hours? Having that type of material impact. Um, the other piece on, on storage costs is certainly uh, looking at what is the future growth. Um, you're not necessarily going to reduce storage costs, but are you reducing the growth or the speed at which your storage costs are growing? Um, 
And then the third piece is really looking at how are we uh, minimizing the, the vulnerabilities that we have. Um, and, you know, when you go through an audit as internally or externally um, around your, your data, understanding the, the number of exposures and helping find a material impact there where the, those vulnerabilities are reduced. You know, Scott, last, last question I have for you. you. You talk about, you know, making data scientists more efficient and the like. What are you seeing organizationally? You know, have have teams come together? Are they planning together? You know, who has the enablement to be able to, uh, you know, leverage uh, some of the more modern technologies out there? Well, that's a great question. Um, and, and it varies. I think the, 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 the organizations that we see that have the most impact um, are the ones that are most open to bringing their, their data science as close, as close to the business as possible. Um, the ones that are integrating their, their data organizations, either the CDO organization or, uh, or wherever that may sit, even if you don't have a CDO, uh, that data organization and who own those data scientists and, and folding them and integrating them into the business so that they're an integral part of it rather than a standalone organization. I think the ones that, that sort of weave them into the fabric of, of the business are the ones that get the most benefit. We've seen have, have the most success thus far. Well, Scott, absolutely. We know how important data is and getting full value out of those data scientists, you know, critical initiative for customers. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, great to get the updates. Oh, thank you for having me. Greatly appreciate it. Stay tuned for more coverage from Activio Data Driven 2020. I'm Stu Miniman, and thank you for watching theCUBE.